Western Motocross Classic was established in the 1980s to lure the nation's top riders to Western Australia. But no one in their wildest dreams expected to attract a reigning world champion and a host of international riders from the USA and Europe. The Western Classic was a big success and part of a golden era with three international events being held annually in the West. The Manjimup 15,000 International was established in 1980, offering $15,000 prize money. And in the King of the Cross, riders competed for a similar prize purse, with the winner of the Southern Cross Mining Town event receiving a $5,000 gold bullion. The Classic was timed to capitalise on the visiting riders being in town the week after the King of the Cross each August. The WA Sidecar Social Club initiated and sponsored the Western Classic. The local Sidecar Club formed to promote Sidecar Cross. They ran the event with a syndicate of motorcycling clubs offering large prize money. And for the first time in the West, the sidecars were given equal billing. The formula worked immediately, attracting top international and national riders. American Jimmy Ellis won the inaugural classic held at Noble Falls and Mick Wimmer and John Stanges won the sidecars. World sidecar cross legend Emil Ballholder from Switzerland stunned race organisers when he entered the Western Classic. The two-time reigning world champion retired from Grand Prix racing that year and toured Australia. South Australian passenger Russell Ellis swung for Emil on a 1000cc Yamaha EML down under. They easily won the Western Classic with four straight wins. Sidecar cross in Europe is huge. The sport has its own World Championship Series and events attract more than 20,000 spectators at each round. And the top riders are household names. Sidecars have always taken a back seat in Australia, so Emil was a great ambassador promoting the sport while on tour down under. He attracted wide media coverage and even gave the top national motocross riders a chance to have a go in the chair. The term passenger is misleading as national motocross legends Jeff Leask and Stephen Gore found out. Motocross is one of the most physically demanding sports in the world and the task is even harder for the co-pilots as they're known in France. Emile Ballholder spoke highly of Australia and opened the door for other international teams to compete here. Joseph Brockhausen and Hubert Revelet rode the Classic the following year. The Germans were three-time runner-up world champions bowing out of the sport while on top. 
Joe became a Honda dealer in the north of Germany, riding and premiering a new lightweight Honda VMC in Australia. Despite a year out of the sport, Joe and Hubert convincingly won the event the year it was held at Rockingham. Like Bowholder, Brockhausen was a fine ambassador for Sidecar Cross. He paved the way for many Australians to compete on the European circuit. While the European sidecar legends were retiring from Grand Prix racing, spectators got to see an emerging local motocross talent in action. Jeff Leesk won two Western Classics before he left for America and Europe. He went on to become Australia's most successful international rider. Jeff finished fourth in the US AMA Pro 500cc motocross class and became the runner-up World 500cc motocross champion, the most prestigious class in racing. Jeff retired from the sport the following year due to niggling injuries and the need to have a break. Coincidentally, the Western Motocross Classic ended the same year. Both Jeff Leesk and American Jimmy Ellis won the Classic twice. World sidecar legends Emil Bolholder and Joseph Brockhausen won the Western Classic for sidecars the years they competed. And returning from Europe, locals Cliff Cook and John Stanges completed a hat-trick in the late 80s. Darren Williams and Mark Kendall won the Sidecar Classic the year after winning their first national title at Noble Falls. The South Australians thrilled the crowd with their spectacular racing style. They were the first sidecar team to successfully make the double jumps at the Noble Falls circuit. That same year, they went on to win the 500cc and 1000cc sidecar double at the National Championships in Raymond Terrace, New South Wales. The Western Motocross Classic was full of many magic moments. Fans regularly got to see the top international and national champions close up and live in action. And for the riders, it was an honour to compete against these legends of the sport right here in the West. <laughs>